Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, this is my team for B8 that I promised to showcase. Um, I originally was planning to use this team for B10. It can farm B10, but it's not really stable. This team farms pretty B8 pretty stably. Like, I basically just run two nukers, um, a healer, and an aggressor. Like, this is... This comp is bad, alright? It, it has nothing in common. Like, no, none of these monsters have any sort of synergy. Um, they, they basically just go in and do their own thing. I guess I kind of just brute force through it with, um... You know, with slightly better gems. I'll, I'll definitely showcase my gems after the after the run, but I guess most of you are pretty familiar with it. I, I did show it a few times in my my update videos. Yeah. So the the plan is, uh, I want to kill whoever I can in one turn. Like in in turn one, my Arthur can stun one guy. And then hopefully, either one, like two of the other units will hit someone else, and we'll just straight out kill them. And then this way, I only have to deal with two people. Man, these these moon flowers are so annoying. Well, at least it's not the dark one; it's the it's the light one on B8. But I think B8 is mostly about damage. Like it's about um, it's about running, running um, you know. A, a lot of units that can do really really high damage like really fast because the boss isn't all that tanky like he's actually really really squishy but he does a lot of damage so like you can let him like even kill one of your units and just have the other three like kill him in three turns or some something like that um i've had a few runs before like i i was doing this before when my wild things was was uh five star but ever since I got her to 6 star, it's been completely stable. Because even if anyone else dies, she's able to, you know, finish off the boss by herself. Um, you know, because of the self-sustain. I kind of run the same thing for B, B9. I'm not sure if you guys want to see it. Like, it's, uh... It's pretty much the same. It's exactly the same as this. I guess I can do a run of, of that as well. Um, I'll showcase my runes in between, and then I'll do a run of, of B9 right after this one. So I think it's pretty fast. I don't think it's it's all that slow. It's pretty it's pretty decent. It's clear time. So if if you have really if I have like really good luck, they have their AOEs out this turn, and then they can just kill the two things on the side, and then they can kill the boss really really fast. Um, if you're not like full autoing this, you you happen to be sitting by, you can actually click the boss, and then they'll kill it even faster. Because you don't really need to worry about the two on the side. Because all you really need to do is kill the boss before he kills you. Like, it's not really about, like, sustaining through his damage or anything. It's basically just about bursting him down. I know my units don't have a lot of, like... Like, they don't have really good attack, but, um... You know, I still think it's it's not the worst. I mean, I, I didn't plan to use this team for B8. It was just, it happened to work. So I started farming B8 with this. Yeah, he should definitely be dead this turn. Oh my god. Just a little bit left. One, one more unit crit, he would have died. So yeah, my gems are really bad. Like, they're actually really, really bad. Um, on a lot of my units, they're, they're, they're just not good. But, you know, I still think it's okay. It's not It's not the worst thing in the world. Or wait, let me go back to my box. Come on! Oh my God! Please stop lagging. All right, it's pretty. It's pretty straightforward. It's like just random defense. Uh, they're they're mostly broken sets because I, you know, I didn't like these are old gems. What is this shit? Oh my God! Nox, stop. Um. Yeah, this is like just some random old gem, and then I put it like a crit rate, and then this one's uh, some random gem. These are all broken sets. Attack, attack. Um, this one's attack. This one's HP. This one's only a plus nine in its defense. Basically made them somewhat tanky. I switched my Cupid to a recovery set. Um, I put defense double HP on him. So he's able to able to tank more damage basically. And also give him a little bit of recovery with the recovery set so he can heal back. But the problem is I had like a lot higher resist before and now he doesn't. So I'm not sure if that's exactly the best idea. 
But it's been working so far, and I'm just basically using it to farm, um, farm, farm B8. Alright, so I think this, this team works really well on B9 too. Like, it, it can pretty much do the same thing, because I'm also running two fire units. So, B9's, uh, B9's a lot easier, I think. Because they do less damage to me, and my, both my dark units are really tanky. So, you, like, even if they hit my fire units, it's completely fine. Yep, I just crit so much harder on wood. The The problem with B9 is if you do it on full auto, it takes a long time. Um, because of the one unit on the side, like the 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 right one, the right one um, on the side on the boss level, like it's really, really tanky. It actually has more defense and HP than the boss. And I don't know why they designed it like that. It's ba basically designed so you, you're not supposed to kill it. Um, yeah, but it's just it's just there and just really just always bugging bugging me. Um, and my damage is kind of split in half because they have like a 50% chance to hit the boss and another 50% chance to hit the the unit on the side. So if you're like sitting down beside uh, you know while you're playing, like if you're if you're if you're just watching it while while farming, um, definitely click the boss because it just takes a lot less time. Oh my God, what is that triple sleep? I wish there was more units with like two turn CCs. I would have loved to use those. Alright, so the one on the left is actually really easy to kill. But the one on the left um, is really, really tanky. Like, it's actually tankier than the boss. It's not that bad if you actually have an armor break, I think. Because you can armor break it and you could probably kill it and like. Because if, if it's armor broken, all your units, like most of your units are going to be focusing on it. Um. Actually no, your units still attack whatever at random. I don't know, I don't get how the AI in this game works, like it just seems completely random. Really, really dumb. Um, but yeah, my damage is kind of split in half because, you know, it, it's attacking the one on the side. Um, what you can do is actually you can just click the boss if you're sitting nearby. And it will basically cut this the, the whole time of the boss fight in half uh, if you do that. Maybe even more. Because it might actually take longer for you to kill the thing on the side. Like if RNG is really bad, um, all your units are going to be hitting the 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 one the 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 uh, sentry thing on the side. Yeah, so you can just keep hitting the boss instead. It's pretty bad if someone dies. Like if someone dies, my wild thing can still finish it off. But it's just. It just takes so long. It takes forever for for me to actually do this if I'm doing it on full auto. Yeah, that was that was that was pretty much it. That's how I farm B8 and B9 now. Um, yeah, I definitely don't regret six starting the wild thing. It did make my runs a lot faster. But I I, I am starting to try and move on to B10 now. Um, definitely gonna farm B8 and B9 a lot more to to get gold and also some some square and triangle gems. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, liked it. If you guys didn't, um, dislike it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.